Okay, see, I noticed all on my own this time <laughs> before I started. Hey, hang on a second. Okay. Thanks, Scarlet Rain. Hi, Jane. Hi, Tabby. Hi, Joe Schmo. Brandy Brown, Mandy Hall, Jennifer Tonks, hello. Anna, hello. Hippie Chick, Patty. Mary, where did where, I just lost my person that I was looking at? Mary, Mary Kim, Jessica, hi. Trisha, hello. Scarlet Rain, Baby Doe, hi. SN, Wildlife. Mama Four Girls, where are you? I know you said you can't make it very late. I haven't seen you in a while, though. I've seen your sidekick, Jules Freedom, a lot. Lisa H., Deborah, somebody else I thought of, too. Vegas Donna we haven't seen, and I'm trying to think. There was someone else that came to mind today. JW, Sakura Girl, where the heck is Mona? I've seen her in the comments, but I haven't seen her in a live. Dana, here to say hello, give you thumbs up that I'm leaving <laughs> the live chat and we'll watch your show tomorrow. Okay. You feel safest that way? Why? What happened? Why, why don't you feel safe? What's going on? Tammy, Teacup, Leah, Sergio, Holly, Sage Tree, AJ Bells. Hello, everyone. It's Mary. Hi, Sheila. Hello. Sheila, did you get that picture? Because she said she sent it. Gray Cinnamon Hot Hot. Cinnamon Hot Hot. I just haven't seen you in a while. Karen. Uh, Kathy. Hennessy. Hi, Momo. Momo. Lady L. Janelle, hello, Kathy, I got you, Karen, Amy's Justice League, hi, I got your email, I haven't looked at it yet, I will in a few minutes, hi, Ivy Lynn, you have to leave too, early morning, busy day tomorrow, okay, Linda, sorry to hear that, Ivy Lynn, Miss Mary, oh, you got it, okay, good, um, Teresa, hey, Jessica, Tessa, hello, Lisa H, hi, Tam Lynn, hello, Teresa Fisher, hello, Let's see, Robin, hi. It's a late one, is it? I've been on late. I don't know how it got so late. I really don't. I um, don't know. Mystery Truth Seeker, hello. Sharon, hi. It's hard when the kids are out of school. Yeah, I lose all track of time and the days of the week also. Manager of Three Monsters. <laughs> I keep thinking today's Friday. This week has completely been blown for me in every way with remembering days and where we are. Let's see, um, Linda, hello. So what was I going, you know, and I just said to myself before, that, remember when I told you I wasn't gonna keep that blue screen there? Hey, Casbot. And earlier in today, I said, I know what I'm gonna put there. And then I just went to do it and I couldn't remember what I was gonna put there. That scares me. Because I remember, like it was something that I said, that's what I'm gonna put there. I can't remember. It's pretty scary. And this stupid thing that keeps going. You know, uh, Casbot, I don't know why, since I since I watched the video, did you tell me we could show your pound land? Did you tell me that? Did you give me your express written permission that we can show your pound land video? Oh, yes, you did? Okay, because I didn't see it yet, but I'll take your word on that. Um, since I watched that video of yours there, I have Poundland hauls coming up in my <laughs> suggested videos. I didn't even know they did Poundland hauls. You might have to start doing those the hauls. Could be big views on it, I don't know, you know. Okay, um, that's, what'd you say? That's, uh, that's neat, did you say? 
Are you making fun of my speech, you guys what? I was just saying to myself, I said that the other day, I'm like, that's neat. I'm like, oh my gosh, that's pretty bad. Hey, Save Robbie. Is that the real Save Robbie or the fake Save Robbie? Are you the real Save Robbie or the, or the fake one? And now for a little ASMR break. You want to be fake, but you're real? Um, well, the real say probably. <laughs> How are the ants doing, real Robbie? Are they okay? Who wants to go on a trip, on a virtual trip right now? Everybody want to go on a virtual trip to the UK to go into their version of the dollar store, which is called Poundland. Do you all want to? I feel like Fred Rogers. Would you all like to take a trip on Picture Picture to the Poundland with Casbot? With our good, yeah, you could be like Mr. McFeely, Casbot. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about. Did you have Mr. Rogers in the UK? I don't know, but you could be our own Mr. McFeely, right? In the neighborhood? In the neighborhood. No, that's Sesame Street. He ne <laughs> Isn't that weird that they have the In the Neighborhood song and it was Sesame Street? Yeah, I know it was a neighborhood, but Mr. Rogers' neighborhood was, I, you know, I don't know. Um, you want to eat some pound cake while we're going to Poundland? Okay, we are going to go on a trip to Poundland. And like Mr. Rogers, he'd be like, let's go and see Mr. McFeely. And so we're going to go see Casbot. You know who Mr. Rogers is. Okay, good. So <laughs> you could be our Mr. McFeely and we're going to, Joanne could be, I don't know, who would Joanne be? Because we'd, we'd take a ride on her videos too. Um, who's the guy that had the fix-it shop? Does anybody remember who had the fix-it shop? Um, Bob, was it Mr. Bob or something? He is an incredibly beautiful man, Cinnamon. My old English teacher actually took worked with him. Yes. And and appeared on an episode as well. Would you be mine? Yeah, won't you be my neighbor? <laughs> so we're gonna go see our neighbor Casbot across the pond. Across the pond is an expression. Wanna go over there to the UK. So just a hop, skip, and a jump. She's going to take us to Poundland. So I'm just going to get that up on Picture Picture. Uh, hold on a minute. How do I do this, Casbah? I'm trying to think. This is silly, isn't it? Well, I have to pull you up. I know what I do. I pull you up and then I push you over there to the side. Okay. Hang on while I go get our good neighbor, Casbah. She's going to take us on a trip. Put your seatbelts on in the meantime while I'm getting this up. Okay. How come the clash is coming up when I put in... Oh, you know what happened? It changed... <laughs> your name <laughs> to the Casper. <laughs> so all this stuff in the Clash is coming up. I met the Clash at the Slotesburg rest stop in New York. But okay, let's go to, um, let me fix this here. Your name is not very recognized because my um, iPhone keeps reminding me that I have an, a meeting with the, what does it call you? It calls you like the Cospaya. 
Coast Pie or something like that. Okay. Okay, here's our here's our video. Hang on. Hey, have you seen these new rings? Yeah, hang on a minute. I gotta move you over here. Um Okay. Now I'm make sure that we're in here because I want to come along for the ride. Okay. And where's my play button? I can't see with all this stuff in front of my thing. Okay. They're made of silicone, and they're called groove rings. Cool, right? Well, you want to know why NFL quarterbacks, musicians, CrossFit athletes, and even the president wears one? Two things I love, Russia and groove rings, but mostly groove rings. We'll watch so, Kaz Bot's ad. have been around since uh, creation. They represent commitment. But dang, they're dangerous. Just ask Jimmy Fallon. My ring holds my finger up. Besides being potentially dangerous, metal oh, rings are just rings. downright groove groove rings. Especially when you're doing stuff. Silicone, silicone rings? Here's the deal. Metal rings are great in the drawer at home, but for everyday life, it's time <laughs> to switch to groove. They're oh. safe, comfy, and dang, they How just long's the ad, Cosmetics? Okay, so probably almost over. We haven't upgraded our wedding rings in over 10,000 years. <laughs> what the freak? So let's face it, metal rings work for the godfather, your granddad, and your dad. But they don't work for you, because you freaking get stuff done. Did we mention we have tons of different options? We got camo, we got college, we got different colors. They come with a lifetime warranty, free exchanges. Good evening, Brenda. Carolyn, we're, we're getting ready to go on a trip. Okay, this so is the. Um, Grab a groove ring, keep grooving. Here we go. Do I have to, I have to skip it now anyway? Is this going to stop there? Oh, no, there it Attention goes. military service members. If you are a loved one, use <laughs> dual-sided combat arm gear bugs during duty between oh, no, it's 2003 gonna... and 2015 and then suffered from tinnitus, ringing in ears, partial or total hearing loss. That's you actually be quite a funny ad. Yeah, it's better than Wix. These earplugs manufactured by 3M company. Wix, oh yeah, or the, um, what's the other one that plays all the time? We've already been hired by thousands of military service members. Call 866-459-0896 or go to tjhlaw.com slash earplugs to Day. Here we go. Wiki by is the one I'm thinking of. In case you just joined us, we're at Poundland. Okay. Over the across the pond in the UK. Shower gels. Mmm, no Look drama. No drama, llama. Cool coconut. Slather that Maybe stuff on. No drama, llama. Shower gel. Douse yourself in that. Body scrub. It's like their dollar store, yes. Poundland. Teresa. Scrubby things. Face cloths. Hand wash. Soap. Bath bombs. Deodorant. Razors. Oh, I have a glittery case too. I just got a glittery case. Mine's silver. You think it's more like five below? Mm -hmm. Um. Casbah said most of the stuff is a dollar. That's a makeup. Or a pound, or whatever that is. I, I do think it looks a little more upscale than just a dollar store. Nail polish. More razors. Look at these false eyelashes. Oh, gosh. Mm, oh, dear.
head. Why can't I walk with you? Oh, there were pineapple clips. Did you see those, Casper? Chocolate you went so fast, we missed them. Medication. Vitamins. Hey, Nazi. That's the back door. Ooh, that looks scary back there. Toothbrushes. Toothpaste. Baby things. Picnic stuff. Picnic stuff. Have a look. Flip flops. Anybody want some flip flops? Oh, look. Pineapples. Is this Ollie's? No, this is across the pond, Mar Margot, in Putting the UK. Casbot's taking a shopping. Watermelon as well. Fake flowers. Kids toys. Scuba gear. General holiday things. Water bottles. Skipping ropes. Water pistols. Sandcastle buckets. Whoa. One pound is a dollar twenty-seven. Um, gardening okay. things. Oops. Little monkeys. Pots. Flowers. Watering cans. Weeder. Look, little fairy door. Those are really cute. I have Fairy's one that's really tree. fancy. That's not a. It's a fairy door for your house. Got a pink one. It's a really Fairy's fancy fairies. door, but it's a tiny little door. Norm sweet norm. It came before all this fairy stuff in the gardens. Little fairy archway. But we I've never seen a fairy door. Castian gecko. Like that. Little fairy houses look. Gnomes that stick in the ground. Cherubs. Clock. Terracotta clock. Looks like a Dollar Tree store in Washington State, Tessa. Swervy things, I don't know what they're called. Things. What Sun, Sun catches. Windmills, garden lights, assorted squirty things, buckets, multi purpose compost, wood pallets, planting pots. Look what these are minions, freezer pops, slush puppy, pyramids. Over there we've got barbecue things, more water pistols, balls, foam, all these seeds, vegetable seeds. Any chlamydia? Seeds, perennial plants, mm -hmm. down the bottom there, more plants. Hmm. We have these. Those are we dahlias, aren't they? Grass seed. Grass seed. Oh, barbecue. Barbecue grill. Cover for your sun pan. And then we've got. Oh, look at that ring. Do you see that engagement ring tables. tube? Look at that. I like that. Yeah. Well. yeah. Unicorn. Got a text. And a ring. Mm hmm. Bubble machine. Well, I've got to review one of those. I have one ready to review. Five. So supposed to do we'll it today. Take them over the, Didn't the pound wheel, but these are pound. Watermelon, mm. batten balls, tests. Mm -hmm. I thought that was my Westie. I got all excited, but it was a unicorn. <laughs> all right, then. Pass the fake flowers again. Anybody? Mm. And then we've got home stuff. We've got bathroom accessories, candles. Tea lights, tea light burners, scent candles, luscious plum, little fake plants, purple Green succulents. Spray. Ooh, the zebra. Sort of zebra pot. Oh dear. <laughs> Wasn't me, I promise. <laughs> ah, it's all right. It's not broken. Nothing's broken. <laughs> Tea towels, cups, egg cups. I like how you reassure the shopper. Dishes, little fry dishes. Glasses, cups. This is just a quick run through. Oven gloves, cookie cutters. 
orange lemon squeezers, funnels. Slates? Are there slates? Slates. Oh no, cutting boards and storage bag, ice cube trays. <coughs> Frying pan, colander, cake trays, more little baking dishes, Tupperware, 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 kitchen foil, assorted bits and pieces, kids toys, slides, flat. Oh, Is that a dog? Kids tat. Look. I we can't believe we don't have Willie Bin sticker kits in in the United States. We're not as <laughs> happy about um, decorating our Willie clips. bins. Clips, well, paper clips, key rings. These are pens with more unicorns. Bits and pieces of craft things. <gasps> Giant googly eyes. I think we need some of those there. Eh? What can I stick giant inside the toilet lid? I told you. Give me ideas, people. Mm -hmm. Multicolored pen. Emojis. Lots of different colors. I love those things. More stationery. Crayons, pens, stickers, glitter. These little baby pegs, which are absolutely adorable. Glitter. Bows. More glitter. Decorative border tape. Pills, adhesive gems, that's adhesive for anybody who actually speaks English. More postage stuff, folders, pencils, boxes, more wheelie bin numbers. That's crazy. Wow, you guys really, really get into your wheelie bins. Body candy. Oh no, yeah. close your eyes, picky folks. Didn't realize it was that kind of shop. No. Stamina timer. How long can you last? Mm. I reckon. Carolyn would be pretty darn good with that, given that she goes hours live. <laughs> Fabulous. Balloons to be blown up with helium. Celebration balloons and little balloon weights. Party accessories. Lots of gift bags. Lots and lots of gift bags. Birthday badges. Party blowers. Banners. Funny faces. Face paint and lots of balloons. Paper plates. Tablecloths, napkins, we've got some assorted books and CDs and DVDs here. Going very quickly on this side. There you go. And lots of things to do. Mobile chargers. Hmm. Little neck, neck rests for children in cars. Make sure they don't hurt their necks. What are these? Little earbuds for children. LOLs. For the mobile phone look with the little cool characters on. So sweet. Mock pocket, anyone? Separate cushion. More outdoor lights. There you go. Let me know if anybody wants a pair of pineapple flip flops. I'll pick you some. More oh, wheelie bin stickers. More wheelie bin stickers. These are body because they've got sunflowers on. They're nice. And this is just where Sweetie's Isle. Sweeties. And I'm just going to stand at the end of this and film down it because it's always heaving. There we go. Heaving? Okay. Cleaning aisle. I'll just do this one quickly. Mm. Cleaning and DIY aisle. You'll have to have a sharp eye. Sharp eye. have to catch me both soon. And I don't have much time, but I will visit the bigger store next week and let you have a look around of that. Car air fresheners. Dugans. Spider-Man. The flower. Auto spray paint. Cat food. Dreamies for anybody who's got cats. Amazing stuff. Oh, dog toys you Okay, that's about it. Let me know if you want to see anything else. <laughs> Shh.
chilled food. Bit of a freezer section. Okay? Yeah. Bye bye for now. Alright, bye. Okay. Um. Did you enjoy the trip, everyone? Say thank you to Casbot for taking you to the Poundland. Thank you, Casbot, for taking us to the Poundland. But I think that's more like the Dollar General or something, because that stuff can't all be a dollar. I mean, you said most of it's a dollar, but like those big mop buckets and stuff, they can't be a dollar. You would have dropped 50 in there easily. <laughs> and you guys with the wheelie bins, you really get into decorating those, right? Wow. Do you like the loofahs? No, I didn't, I didn't notice too much the loofahs. I was looking at other stuff. You love Poundland, Sari? for the tour, Kaz, but next time we'd like to go down the sweetie aisle, slowly down the sweetie aisle, so we could see all the different sweeties. Is that a recycle bin? No, they call them willy bins, it's their garbage bins. They don't say the word garbage, they say rubbish. Or do they say, um, do you, are you guys the ones that say poppycock? It's a bunch of poppycock. Do you say that? What, what, what is that for? That's just a bunch of malarkey? Is that what that's for? I don't know. We have about three other similar stores. I asked Kaz, but I said, are there other, like, here we used to have like just a buck. That went out of business. I don't think there's any more just a bucks. We have the Dollar Tree, which is probably the biggest, at least in this part of the country, the biggest dollar store, chain store. There's the Dollar General, but you can have things in there anywhere, you know, it could be 10, 20, 30. It's just, it's not really a dollar store per se. And then Family Dollar, which is just brutal. I don't like that store at all. I don't know of any, and then there's like, there used to be 99 cent stores. I think they were more out in California because Jay Leno used to go through those, right? Jay Leno always went to the 99 cent store. Then we have another like independent store, which is Dollar Power. Okay, it used to be 99 cent power. Then they changed it to Dollar Power and they started going like over a dollar in some things, but mostly a dollar. But Dollar Tree is a dollar or less. Rubbish, you like saying that word? Mm-hmm. Christmas tree shops, yeah, but they're not, they're not dollar shops. I mean, they they can be low cost on some things, but they have things that could be, you know, high. Um, but you do, you're saying Bell and Mac, there are different types other than the dollar pound. What are they called? I mean, not the dollar pound, the pound land. Like, have a pound, spend it, no. Spend a pound. <laughs> there are five and dimes in Branson, Missouri. They still have a five and dime? Hmm. Canada has the Dollar Tree too. Good. Dollar Tree is, you know, I think it's one of the, the I think it is the, the only, I don't know if it's the only chain dollar store now that Home Bargains and Willows are amazing. Are they, they're just, is it like a TJ, uh, not a TJ Maxx, is it like a Home Goods? You guys don't have TJ Maxx, no. Mm -mm. You have any Home Depots over there, mm -mm, right? Uh, Lowe's, no. What do you do for your, for your um, stuff like that at the Home Depot? You went last night to Dollar Tree and you bought $56 worth. Yeah, it's very, it's pretty easy to do. Tell me about it. Um, 
You do have TJ Maxx, do you really, Bella? Very good, very good. Do you have Home Goods then? Do you have their other stores, Home Goods and Marshalls? And what's the other one that's connected to that? Home Goods, Marshalls, and they have another one. They used to have another one that they had here, and then it didn't do well here. Um, you have big lots to read. Okay. Uh, B and Q. B and Q is like the Home Depot, Prince of Pisa. Okay. Similar stores. Mm -hmm. I've been to Five Below. It's not my favorite store. I have to be honest. I have to be honest. It's not really. Yes, I remember Woolworths. Ollie's, Ollie's is great. Poundland sounds like it would be a different kind of establishment here in the United States. A different kind of, what kind of establishment would it be, do you think? Do you have B? <laughs> what is that, Diana? Close to me, they have a home goods that's connected to TJ Maxx. Yeah, because they're one in the same, and then Marshall's is also the same company, but there's another one too. Who remembers the, the, there might even be more than that in the TJ Maxx family there. You have all the above, right. Okay. Um, you think Canada has mostly American stores? Okay. Kids like the five below? Yeah. You oh I oh, yes I go for the Ray Dunn stuff too at the um, the Home Goods yeah I'm kind of upset that they the Home Goods I think they got in trouble for carrying the Mason um, cash bowls or something they're never there anymore you you know what the Mason you probably have them over there across the pond Ross dress for less we don't have any of those around us the only one I was there was in um, Wilkesbury Pennsylvania. And down in Florida, when I was in Florida. You love those English balls? You have Dollar Plus in Dubai. Do you? Could you take us to the Dollar Plus? We'd like to see that in Dubai. Could you take us there, Prince of Pesa? Can we go right now? What time is it? What time is it in Dubai right now? If it's open, let's go. Hurry up, get in the car. Someone's got to be open now. You guys in the UK, everything's opening up for you, right? What do you can get in the car? Take us somewhere. Everything's closed here for me. I couldn't take you anywhere but Walmart because Walmart's 24 hours the only place we could go. Prince of Pesa, everybody would like to see that. Is it open right now? Kmart and Sellers all got replaced by Walmart. It is 7 a.m. It's not fit. For... <laughs> well, in, in like an hour or so, it'd be 8 a.m. Janelle, I took a walk really late tonight. I took a walk at like 7.30 to 8.30. And I did when I, I had a Dan sighting, but it was when I was coming up my driveway for my walk. And then I just, it was dark. And I said, well, there'll be more Dan sightings tomorrow. It's open. In Norway, where are we going, Elise? Hey, we're going to go to Norway, 15 minutes. Uh, wh where are we going, Elise? Where are you taking us? Oh, don't worry, Teresa, I'll be careful. I know Foxy Bot's um, moves that she taught me. It's all good. She's coaching me. She's, co <laughs> She's coaching me. She's calling me up Foxy Bot and giving me um, self-defense classes on, on the, over the phone. Is that the same as Roses or Maxway? 
I've never heard of either of those. Linda, where, where are you, Linda? Grace, you can use CVS coupons. They send good ones. Did you send my email address to Jennifer? To Jennifer. Jennifer. Let me see, um, Hennessy. Jennifer? Um, why am I drawing a blank on it? On a Jennifer? Do I call her Jennifer? Madison? Jennifer Madison? Hennessy? Tonks. Okay, Jennifer Tonks. Hold on, let me go and check that out while it's fresh in my mind. You can talk amongst yourselves about the dollar pound. Find out where she's taking us in Dubai. Get it all set up while I'm trying to see about this email that I've got to send to Jennifer Tonks from Hennessy. Okay, so let me see here. Um, Okay, I've got you, Hennessy. I found you, and now you want me to send you Jennifer Tonks. Okay, so, all right, let me see here. Okay, that's done now. That's another thing off my to-do list. All right, I'll come back to the chat. All right, so we're, when are we going to Dubai? Is it open now? Big lots on a Tuesday morning. What is Mrs. Roger Rabbit? Yeah, I'm not a big fan of Five Below. I don't know. I'm really not. <laughs> Sassy Darcy, hello. Tinky, hello. Chucky, Irish Eyes, Maribel, did I get you? Jane, Jennifer Tonks, I just sent Stassi, I got you. Danielle, Barney Rubble, Sharon Martin. question why is it called a toothbrush and not a teeth brush that's the age-old question Anna Poundland sounds like oh yeah I read that one already
Centra is the only place. What what kind of store is Centra? That what kind of store is that? And where are you, Sil Sylvia? Where are you? Grace Stewart, you don't shop where their prices are ridiculous. Sassy Darcy, we just went shopping with Casbot. She rushed us a little bit because she had to get on the bus. She didn't want to miss the bus. Um, so it was a little rushed. We didn't get to spend a lot of time in the sweetie aisle. But I'm sure the next time she takes us, she will spend a lot of time in the sweetie aisle. Lisa, you, you may ask me a question. Yes. What is the My Cat Sharon? It's just a little joke between Sharon and I, two scooter, just because um, there's a cute cat that's running around here somewhere. It's, Sharon thinks it's hers. Now, where's um, Lisa? Did you ask me your question, Lisa? Because I'm waiting. Every time I wait for a question, it never comes up. The dog ate a mushroom. Your dog, Tinky, is now sick. <laughs> She's just, Sharon's just saying. Lisa, I, I just, you can uh, email me. Your 18 year old cat was gone for two days and reappeared today. Oh, good. Laura, yeah, oh, that's another thing. Has anybody seen Laura Kenny? Where's Laura Kenny? Haven't seen her in a few days. Laura Kenny, where are you? Um, I just can't remember what I was going to write on something that it's, it's bothering me. Things like that bother me. I don't know why. Can't let it go. Oh, you missed a shopping trip, save Robbie. Across the pond, we went to Poundland. But Casbah didn't let us spend a lot of time in the sweetie aisle. She's like your mother when you, she's like, no, we're not spending a lot of time in the sweetie aisle. We've got a bus to catch. So we didn't get a lot of time in the sweetie aisle at all. About on my medicine chest? Yes, I did teacup. Yes, I did. I finally did. I saw it. Uh, yes. And I didn't get to read everything fully, but you, you had said to me that you had an idea. And let me think what it was. Um... You, were, you weren't the grass cloth, right? Because I didn't, I have all the emails. I, I only was able to open one. I'm so far behind in my emails, but I'm trying to think. Now, see, I can't even remember things that I said to myself. I'm trying to remember what you told me. Um, I have to go over there. Oh, yeah, bad man. Yeah, because that's what my kids call him, Danielle the bad man because he curses at them and stuff so that's the bad man who has coals I have coals but it's it's an hour away you know 45 minutes away not but I was near your house today you were near my house today Margo mm -hmm. you didn't call and stop by were you did you go to the new water park is that where you were did you go to the new water park
Oh, French Woods. Mm -hmm. Jimmy used to work. The school that Jimmy used to work at is right by French Woods. Yep. Did you did you leave? Are you still in the area? You back in the city? Where nothing is real? No, but it was time. That was time in New England. No, it wasn't the city. Now I'm back. No, it is right on. Now I'm back in the city where nothing is real. Jimmy was a uh, calculus, physics, um, chemistry teacher, and an adjunct professor at a local college. But he taught at a college prep boarding school. We have Target. But they get expensive. You have to Target gets expensive for what? They have a dollar stop at Target when you first walk in. Nothing is real. Well, it's actually very Manilow. But I guess you could say that too, Rise Up. You can get your prescription filled because this, this is a life hack. You can still get, we should have life hacks. That's what we should do, life hacks. Luke taught me a new life hack. He said that if you put your fingers like this and you feel the skin right here, that that's how you can tell if your steak is done. And he said he told Jimmy that, and now Jimmy can cook the steaks the right way. He, he could tell you, like if you feel here, that's medium. If you feel here, that's well done, okay? I said, where'd you get that? He said, our life hack on uh, YouTube. You thought I made what, what up, mommy? Would you, I mean, Lisa. You feel like Target is getting a little more pricey than it was about five years ago. Life hacks are great. Let's share them. Luke could tell you the exact where, where the exact place to feel for how you want your steak cooked. Oh, about the meat? No, he learned it on YouTube. Oh, the city comment? Oh, Barry Bandelaw, I can credit him on that one. It's from Time in New England, right? Was it warm rocky beaches and you by the bay? All those egg life hacks are silly. Egg life? I don't know the egg, egg life hacks. I did see um, someone that had like 400 million views on a video about, you know, little plastic playhouses. They smeared dirt on one and then the kid goes, mommy, we've got to clean it up. So they took Mr. Bubble foam soap and they put it on, they washed it off of the hose. 400 million views, um, obviously going to be doing the no. Um, you think about James Taylor when you think about the East Coast. James Taylor, let me just tell you this from personal experience, is not a good choice of music if you're feeling sleepy when you're driving your car. Just saying. How did is your like? How did is your like? How deep? How deep is your love? No, how deep? How deep is your like? Is that what you're asking me? It's about, I think it's like 85, 90 feet the deepest. 
You heard a Carly Simon song the other day. You're so vain. What happened, Lisa? No, they didn't throw you out. They just, they just, it's just, we don't discuss other creators here, but you can email me, okay? Your ex is Sylvain. Why what? Whisper to me. Why? Why? Why what? However do you want me? <laughs> I have no idea. No, no, I have no idea who she was talking about. Oh, not you, Lisa. Not you. You're, you're fine. You're all good. Everybody's good. Everybody's good. Citronella candles. I have citronella essential oil, and I keep forgetting to... Um, put it into another oil and bring it out when I'm out with the mayflies. I don't know why I keep, it's right on my windowsill. I don't know why I keep forgetting to do it. So, okay. Yeah, don't worry. You're you're good. No, no. You're so vain was about it wasn't about James Taylor. It was about uh what's his name? The one that's married to Annette Benning. Why am I I'm not going to look cuz I I'm now I'm getting scared. Warren Beatty. See? See what you learn here? It was about Warren Beatty. What's another song that was about someone? Betty Davis' eyes. It was about Betty Davis's eyes. Candle in the Wind was about Marilyn Monroe. And then there was a version about Princess Diana. Uh, Barry Manilow's Could It Be Magic's was about Melissa Manchester. You look wonderful tonight. That was by, yeah, it was by Eric Clapton, but it was there's a there's a story. Isn't is that the song? No, Layla's the one that there's a story behind. Layla was written about George Harrison's wife. Has anyone seen? Yes, save Robbie. Luke showed that. Luke showed that to me of all people. Head rock sand. Tears in heaven, Teresa. Yeah. You're so vain was about Mick Jagger. Mm -mm. Warren Beatty. Neil Diamond did one about somebody I can't remember. Neil Diamond? I know Neil Diamond very well. I don't remember. He did, you're saying he did one about some, I think you, are you thinking you, you don't bring me flowers anymore? Dude looks like a lady. <laughs> Uptown Girl, but no, it really wasn't about, that's, there's a whole controversy there, Lizzie. She was so mad. It wasn't about her. She said that countless times it wasn't about her, and she hated that people thought it was about her. 
he wrote this song and then she got in the video go go read up about it you just wanted to say i love your channel you're such a sweetheart thank you lisa thank you it was um john denver and annie's song that was about his yeah that was about his wife at that time so, uh, and um speaking of songs about wives billy joel wrote um whenever we're together you're my home right that was about his wife when he didn't have money or something for an anniversary present yeah but uptown girl is not about christy brinkley go i'm telling you she keeps saying that a hundred times she hates it it's not about her she may say that but billy joel don't think that <laughs> okay I, I will agree to disagree rod stewart wrote forever young for his son my sister and her son danced to forever young at uh, his wedding Have you seen Christy Brinkley lady? She looks great. She's always looked great, Teresa. Yeah. Billy Joel has the same piano teacher as one of my friend's fathers did. Piano teacher used to always compare his playing to the kid named Billy. So this guy grew up hating Billy. Oh dear. You heard it was about L. McPherson? <laughs> Is it going? I don't know, Janelle. We, we have to, we put all of our pictures in and then they get voted on. That in October. And Lisa... Ed Sheeran wrote supermarket flowers for his grandmother. I know it sounds like it's about his mom, but it's about his grandma. Beautiful boy. Yes, yes it was. Written for Sean Lennon. Madison Square Garden, Teresa? Madison Square Garden. Hi, Priscilla. Hey, Dad TV. How do I know all this stuff? I, I like music and I just, I, it's just acquired. Cats in the Cradle. And the silver spoon, little boy blue and the man on the moon. When you coming home, son, I don't know when. I got you, babe. Sunny and Cher. You have a plethora of useless trivia, Tinky. Mommy, you made me listen to that song, and I... Oh, that song, yeah, Supermarket Flowers. I, it took me... I, I literally mean, I, had, I heard it 50 times, and I still was crying every time. It took me so long before I couldn't stop, you know, before I could listen to the whole thing without, without crying. Cracklin' Rosie was about a call girl.
cats in the cradle here. Holes in the floor of heaven does that to you, Sheila? Oh, oh, lo are you talking about um, Lola? Right? Uh, she? Oh my gosh! I know, I know what you're talking about. Valerie by Steve Winwood was written about your friend's mom. I kid you not. Hmm. Lola, Lola. <laughs> Jude was written for by John Lennon. It was written for um Julian, right? Ju Julian Lennon. Lola. <laughs> I'm always asked the same question. How do you know all of that? Um, because I've been alive like 37 years and I've experienced things and I have people. <laughs> right. Glenn Campbell has a cousin who is a channel owner, Rhinestone Cowboy. Anytime somebody says he's a line man, that one song, he's a line man for me, <laughs> it just goes right on. I have, I used to work with this one lady and every time I said, what does her husband do? He's a lineman. And it would just go right across. I would just stop for a minute because that, that, that one line of the song went right across. And then sometimes it went to the second line. And if someone didn't call my name, I just kept going through the song. Marvin Gaye, shot by his, yeah. And when you see Galveston, yeah, Galveston, oh God. The BJs were your neighbors. Mm -hmm. Lucy in the sky with diamonds. Must have missed something. Wichita lineman. Or what about or by the time by the time I get to Phoenix, right? Sasha, you must be new here, huh? We don't have topics. You love Country Boy by Glenn Campbell. 
is known to many of us YouTubers. Is he a singer too? Singer? Yes, he did. He did have Alzheimer's. Yes, he did. Used to be La Ti Da. Oh, you changed your name? Why? You didn't like La Ti Da anymore? Everybody that changes their name. Where's, um, what's her name? What happened with, um, um, Joanne Dallas? She's not in tonight? Hey, Eva. Mackenzie Luke, how do you say her name? Is it Luke? Luke? I don't know how you say that last name. Or is the E totally silence and it's look? Luck? I don't know. It's difficult to get yeah, to. <laughs> Definitely when they change their name. Oh, good night. Your husband is retiring tomorrow after 42 years. Happy retirement, Miss Mary. One tin soldier, yeah. Seasons in the sun, yeah. The night Chicago died. I, ha I have, yeah, I have, all. I like all of those. Peace on earth was all it said. Changed it because nobody could pronounce Lati Da. Okay. It's almost 3 a.m., but you made it. Is it almost 3 a.m.? Mine's getting away from us. It's whichever way the wind blows is the topic. Because I'm still on weekend time. Because I think it's been, I think it's the weekend since my kids don't have school anymore. Someone hacked your nick a few months ago. What is your nick? Oh, I know. I, I know you can, Sharon. I, believe me. I know that. I, I definitely know that. Nobody's taking us. Where's the woman from Dubai? Are you taking us somewhere in Dubai? Jay Bells, are you going to walk the dog now? Could you take us on a virtual walk to, with the dog? Nobody can take us anywhere. Hey, Pitbull. It's loose. Great outside breakfast at the lake. Did Jim get the decking done? The dock. They got one part of the dock done we didn't do the other part because I have to buy another length of rug at Ollie's mm -hmm. and I have to go out to the garden center tomorrow because I'm really upset about my chrysanthemum daisies I'm not even gonna go there you're still kind of in med okay all right Bella Mac, are you going anywhere? Do you have a dog to walk? One night I can take everyone on the strip on Fremont Street. Well, that sounds good, but I guess it's not. You could go anywhere now because it's oh, everything's open in Vegas, right? Hmm. Thanks, Sasha. I didn't know you don't leave the dock. You you can't, Tinky, because um, the ice will come 
and you won't have it anymore. You can't take us this week. You're so busy. Mm hmm. All right. What about next? How does next week look? What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Take us over to Fan's house. Oh, Dan's house. Oh, that was. Uh, Does the lake ice over? Oh, yeah, yeah. My kids, we had a cold year. My kids were on the, the lake in April, the, fir the first week of April, and it was incredibly thick. Desperate Dan, not too much today because I got out late today. I took a walk, so it was late. He was in. I, I, I was going to take a picture as his height because he had all the lights on in his house. He had the TV going, and I was going to take a picture as I went by. Do I think? I don't think Dan has any idea, not the slightest idea. You have skating on an open lake on your bucket list? Okay. Does anyone watch the Scott Nelson trial? No, what's it about, Debbie Do? It was hot in Minnesota today. I thought I was gonna die. We tried putting, what, what did you try putting? In a new window air conditioning, but we didn't get it done tomorrow, even hotter. I will be in my pool all day. He's going to be, oh, Dan is going to be a YouTube sensation? Hmm. Could be. I do have to go to the alleyway tomorrow. I'm so worried about my daisies, but. 110 there tomorrow. But I do want to go swimming tomorrow. I think I'm ready to, to hit the lake for the first time this year. <laughs> Am I going to rent it out? I don't know. I don't think so. I, I, I mean, we've never done that. Video, a video on my swim. I don't want to drop my phone in the water, but I, maybe I can I can uh, set something up on the dock. I, what am I talking about? Last year I brought my GoPro in the water. I took underwater videos of when I was swimming around in there. How silly am I? My GoPro is totally waterproof. We had it in the lake all last summer. I'm losing my mind. My kids were jumping in with the thing. Wear a burlap. <laughs> Lake George water temperature is 70. Yeah. You bought some water floats? Fun, fun. You're going to listen? Okay, honey hush, bye-bye. Really worked hard today. Packing. What are you packing for? Are you going on a vacation or are you moving? A paddling pool. That's a, that's a kiddie pool, right? You love seeing all the lakes in America. Oh, you're down south? Do you do, okay. Seventy degrees does sound amazing. Everyone should know how to swim, yeah. 
You sent name of Glenn Campbell's cousin as an email. Not a secret. She said it live. But it's a channel. Okay. Carolyn, I love your channel. It's so chill and drama free. You're a sweetie pie. Thank you, Grace. You have the Great Lakes there. Do you go there in the summer? Do they have public beaches there, Sharon? Moth is on the window. I really have to finish doing some power washing. I have dreams of power washing Joanne Dallas's cement. I don't have cement like that. That's a very satisfying power wash when you have cement like that. Um, I wish I did. I wish I lived closer to Joanne because I would pack up everything and go over there and, and power wash that and, and videotape it. That's really satisfying. I saw a video on power washing the most disgusting brick you have ever seen. It was coated like this thick in green slime mold, whatever you want to call that. Uh, it was the most satisfying watch you have ever seen. It, came, it was just, it was unbelievable. But I've seen people do that with cement. I don't have any cement. Algae, is that algae? Okay. You're close to Lake Michigan, Dunes National Lakeshore. Yeah, they're very good because power washing is just. It's so immediate. You can power wash your rubbish. Your garbage cans. Yeah, I, they don't really need power washing, um, unbelievably. Lake Winnie something. Oh, Lake Winnie, Winnie Tonka or something? No, that's, um, that's in Pennsylvania. Winnie, oh no, the one in Pennsylvania is Oh, I can't even think of the one now. It's got a really weird name like that, too. Not uh, Wall and Paw Pack, but the one that's what, by Woodlock. Cleaning commercials are the best. So satisfying. Infomercials, right? Like for, for steamers and things, aren't they? Power washing is very therapeutic. Mini Tonka. Where's Leaping Lizard? I was wondering if she, she just got a new power washer. I wonder what she's been power washing. I don't know. Does anybody know where Leaping Lizard lives? Does she live near um, Joanna Dallas? Your daughter lives on Lake Minnetonka? The international yarn shops? Speaking of international yarn shops, where is um, knitting? What was that? Artisan. Where is she? I haven't seen her in ages, maybe since February.
did I find? No, I, well, I didn't go to um, Ollie's. I just have to go to Ollie's and pick it up. You need a lake up in New Hampshire for the summer vacation for your family. We're hiking and likes and New Hampshire is on the map for the summer. Hmm. I've never been to New Hampshire, believe it or not. Hey, Alicia. Oh, another migraine. I'm sorry to hear that. Dan, uh, he's about, he's not, he's not that old. He's not old. Maybe 56 or so. Oh, Hennessy, they have rugs like nobody's business over there. Yeah. They have lots and lots of rugs. There are a lot of Minnesotians in here. Really, Sassy Darcy? Hey, Jenny Jo. Is Dan, yes, he is, Sasha. Were you interested? Does that sound like you're kind of, is that a match for you? No, he's, he's sorry, he's taken. Yeah. Do they have holiday homes? Uh, I assume you mean like rentals? No, not really, no. Hi, Maui chickadees. So, email Joanne and ask her. What you're if she if she the, what are we asking Joanne the power washing. What's going on with, um, who's watching 90 Day Fiance? Because I'm watching bits and pieces of it, but I haven't watched um, full episodes, but I've gotten an earful, an absolute earful from YouTube and stuff. I should, Chili K, right? Um, you are, Anna? Okay, so I'm going to run some things by you then. Okay, here's what I've been hearing, okay? I heard that uh, Jay is getting deported. True. That they found out that he they have concrete proof that he cheated on Ashley in some bathroom. Is that true? True. What bathroom is that? The bathroom where he works? Where does he work? Because I, I missed a little bit of that, but I heard that somebody got concrete proof and that she then called the authorities and there's a warrant out for his arrest is that all true that's what i heard margie that's exactly what i heard i have to a lot to catch up on regarding that oh he works in a barber shop oh sergio that barber shop that he was sitting in talking about um her but that's he got a job there is he cutting hair or is he like the sweep up guy or the shampoo guy I didn't realize he was um, working there. Sakura, you say he will never get deported. Why do you think that? Okay, right. So what's he doing there, Sergio? Is he cutting hair or is he like the shampoo guy? Jay is doing tats? Seriously? Really? Was he a, was he a tattoo artist before? Wow. Okay. He's a tattoo guy. Okay. Hold on now. Don't go so fast. Here's my problem. I want to know this. Okay. And Sakura girl, maybe you can 
fill this in with your legal expertise, even though I know you're in Canada. When they do that whole show, they're always saying how these people can't drive. They're unable to drive like that uh, Francesca. What was the one that was married to Jonathan, the alcoholic that couldn't stop drinking? She said he wouldn't even take her to the community college and she can't drive. And then he wouldn't take her to the gym anymore. The barbers told on him. Okay. So he brought some girl in the bathroom there, Sergio. What I want to know is how come Jay was able to take the car since he got here. He was taking the car and he was going out at night. And they were saying it on the show. How come he's the only one that could drive? Anybody know the answer to that? Anyone? He's not cutting hair. He's doing tats, but he's fired now. And I think she never turned in his paperwork yeah, he's getting deported. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But he's supposedly still at this place of business sometimes. They might have broken the law, but I mean, like every other fiance followed that law to the letter. Okay, so I'm lost on that. What did he do in the bathroom? Tats? No. He, did he bring some girl there, Sergio? What happened there? Teresa, the point is, why is this 32-year-old woman marrying this 20-year-old boy? That's, that's the problem. Okay, and, and where was the girl from? Was she from the Tinder that he had started right after they got married? You want to go shopping? All right, let's go. Find somebody that's taking us. What's going on, Bella? You must watch it. Yeah, you must. I'm telling you. Okay, but I have a lot to catch up on. I just want to run some things by. You don't suppose anyone across the pond is watching Love Island? I don't know. Um, don't know how he's driving. I don't know either. Has anybody picked up on that? And and the, this, this show doesn't mention it. That's what I mean about YouTube. At least YouTube... Like, how many times have you watched a show before YouTube and you have all these questions and you can't bring them to just anybody because if your friends aren't watching the show, they have no idea. There's a lot of people that watch shows like that. It doesn't even run across their mind. Like, why is Jay driving? See, my, it's always going. My mind is always going. I can't just watch a show and hear Jay's driving and I know no one else can and I'm wondering how Jay's driving. Also, Jay's working. And all these other ones say they can't get a job because it's against the law, right? But now Jay's working and Jay's driving. What's going on? See my email? Are you good? You you have the ninety day? Uh, you have the four one one on the on the ninety day. Hang on. Hold on. I don't see anything yet, Linda. Wait a second. Why is my email is not... Okay, now it's updating. Okay. I, I, I will in one second, Linda. If I just want to finish the 90-day thread right now. Because I just have a couple more questions to ask here. Then I'll go back to the psychopaths. It, that'll be a good lead. This will be a good lead in, trust me, for the psychopaths. All right. So we have, um, have, have I just want to know, seriously, have any of you asked yourself that? How come Jay can work and how come Jay can drive? Hey, Dylan. You can get your license. 
but they're they're in Pennsylvania, Dylan. You have YouTube, but you can't reply. Okay. Um, I can't stay keyboard issues, buying a new tablet. I miss the vlogs at night. Ashley was packing Jay's belongings into trash bags. Her phone rang with a call from the other woman. This is the woman that he went into the bathroom with? Is anyone buffering? No. So no, so no one is, um, no one questioned that about Jay driving? You did, Sergio, or, or you said yes about the woman? Mm -hmm. and, and supposedly she was crying her eyes out really, really bad. But Ashley's got to really question why she's bringing a 20-year-old little boy home to be a husband and a stepfather to her two children when she's 32 and how she thinks that's going to be a good idea. Okay? She really has to think about it. Doesn't she have an 11-year-old son or something? There's nine years difference between Jay and, and the son. But she doesn't just want that. She wants marriage. She wants a stepfather. Okay, so... Okay, so he, they're waiting to arrest him, but I want to go on to the next one, okay? That's... Then you have uh, Paula. She's giving birth in an inflatable tub, right? She have the baby. Yeah, scripted. Ashley is an idiot. Sorry. Well, Ashley is making some very, very bad life choices. And the last two engagements were called off. For some reason, you know, Jay's went through. Who knows? She might have just went through because of the show. I think the show is making them go through with a lot of things they probably wouldn't. Uh, but Paola... Is she going to stay in Oklahoma or is she going back to Miami? And what's his name? Russ? What's what's Paola's? It, Russ is the, the husband for Paola? Um, ow. Is that the husband? Because his mom, Russ is an only child, right? His mom is like a long, I think she was a long, she had to have been a longer burger distributor. Everything in the woman's house is Longa Burger. Every single thing in her house is Longa Burger. And she looks like a Longa Burger rep. I know because I've had a lot of them. She 100% is a rep, was a rep. I mean, she might still be, I don't know. A Longa Burger rep? You know those... Um, basket canisters that were on the other side of the kitchen well there are they are on the other side of the kitchen i don't want to get anybody nervous that i got rid of them mm -mm. that's longer burger it's a company they were made in ohio their building looked like a giant basket and they were like a tupperware party but with baskets high-end baskets liners they added pottery i'm having a little bit of chocolate You hope your look isn't changing? I don't know. Oh, Pow. Why do I call it Pow? Is that her name? It's not Paola. Okay. But isn't her, her full name Paola? And they call her Pow? No. 
Did she have that baby? She did. In the inflatable tub, right? A teacup. We're talking about right now, 90 Day Fiance. So not much going on there, right? The only thing going on with those two, they're like filler. Not really interesting. Is she going to stay in Oklahoma? Or is she going back to Miami? That's really the only thing interesting with those two, right? Pal? Is good enough? Okay. And then you've got... Um, so I'm trying to catch up. There's some things that I have. The one... Not Dimitri. What the heck is his name? The guy from Ukraine or something. The one that hit the, the pregnant wife. I don't know if he hit her technically in the... And the promo it looks like he hits her. What is that girl's name? She's pregnant to, with a baby girl. She's got the sisters that are always interfering. Okay, Buzzkill. What is her name? Filler. Andre, okay. Andre's a little bit of a hothead, okay? He can't even cut the lawn in a house he's getting for free. Right? And then she's acting like, oh my gosh, we're going to move. But what did he do? He did something with the rent money. He helped his, what did he do with the rent money? He did something for his father, Elizabeth. Did he do something for his father? See, he's not living in reality. And then the one that Jonathan, the, the Alki, he, um, his, his wife, has her own YouTube channel where she's talking some real junk about him, but he looked like a nice guy, but then you can see he's a total raging alcoholic. He's violent, you can see. Very violent when he gets drunk and um, very full of himself. I knew there were some issues going on with him, but then when he, I, I kind of, he redeemed himself a little bit when he wanted to hug the crying guy, the Samoyan the Samoyan guy, the one that cries all the time. He wanted to hug him, and I thought, okay, well, he's showing a lot of empathy. Maybe he's not such a bad guy. And at that time, him and his wife are getting along really well. And I thought they might have a chance. Not so much. Consuelo, what was his name? Oswello, something. Andre helped his dad who was stuck in New York to get to them, but he used all of his rent money, right? Now, if she didn't have daddy to cry to, what would they have done though? So he's taking advantage of her father while saying he hates her father, okay? That's just what I feel about him. He flew to him to get him to safety. Were they really unsafe, Jeannie? I didn't see it, so maybe, you know, I don't want to sound cold and heartless, but he's got to live in the real world. What if he didn't have daddy to help him? Her daddy. They're staged by a plane ticket. He used half the rent money. And what was his plan to get the other half of the rent money back without going to daddy, her daddy? He's so great, said I'm leaving my sister tomorrow. Who, who said that?
We're talking, well, it's it's 90 Day Fiancé. It's kind of like a soap opera, right? Andre is misogynist. You don't think they had a plan for the rent money? He had a plan, Dylan. It was, go cry to your daddy. Kind of like in The Godfather, the way Carlo tells, um, what's her name? What was the sister's name? Talia Schreier. What was the sister's name? Connie. Go cry to your father. He was, he got up in the people's faces. He looked like he smacked her in the car, in the promo, and told her to like, shut up. He said, no, do not ask your dad. Yeah, I think he's just saying that. Yes, he's, he, know, he knows that her daddy's not gonna let Yeah, okay, so forget those two, because that's not... Did, did he hit her in the car? Just tell me if he hit her in the car, if they just made it look like that. I think he respects her to make... He expects her to make more money while pregnant, while he does nothing. Can't even mow the lawn, Dylan. Can't even freaking mow the lawn in a house he's getting for free. It's a too big of a deal to mow the freaking lawn. The Godfather was a good movie. Oh, he grabbed the phone out of her hand. It looked like he smacked her. They wanted you to look think that he smacked her. He probably does smack her when the camera's not on if he's being that violent in the car. He grabbed her phone away. Looked like he smacked her. He's pathetic. Okay, so forget them now. And um, what about... Um, the Lunatics uh, sh family of Chantel. Now they're, they're having a spin-off series. You saw that? The family de Chantel is having their own spin-off. And he's looking to bring his, his, his sister and his wife. And that's not his sister. Okay? Because there's something going on between those two. And if that is his sister, that's disgusting. You won't watch the new show? Mm-mm. She's an idiot. Which which one is an idiot manager? So many idiots in the show. Which one is an idiot? You sent me pictures of the birthday cake. It was so good. Okay. I'll check it in one second. I just want to see what happened with these idiots. How about Colty? Did she say that, Sakura? She said it was the size of a Vienna, uh, a Vienna finger. Did she? I think he's got other issues besides just that. I think he likes to dress up. I'm just saying, he looks like a guy that likes to dress up. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but that's what he looks like, you know? Um, in something. I'm not quite sure what it is yet, Jessica. But in something. I think he likes to dress up in something. Maybe just a, a wig. Maybe a cat costume. I'm not sure. Sometimes I think he's wearing a fat suit, honestly. But I think it's real, unfortunately, for him. Something is very odd. I, I can't put my finger on it, which is an odd feeling. There are photos of it? Oh, dear. Okay. And what's her name? K 
came clean that she's got what two three kids that she left in another country you've got another video with 6 a.m. what's going on are, are you working the other one and did you get a call for that matchmaker job or good luck on the other interview what, what's going on at, are you working the one she says she wants to make money to take care of those kids did I just get chocolate on my face um, Colty has a thing he takes pictures of it oh dear well, how did that come out not on the show did that come out in the show or is that like through his Instagram or hers you've seen the photos oh dear they don't sound good good night Jeannie she's got three kids back home do we know the ages of them But they lied. They said that Colt knew that she had the three kids. Right? That Colt knew about all about those three kids. You're not working the other one. It was too much to learn. Oh, really? Jeannie, you should really do it. It's not. I, 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 it might sound like a lot. But maybe try Ape and Butler Hill again and try it. can sound intimidating at first, but it's really not. I know a lot of people that, I... yeah, he knew, but they didn't tell the mother until now. Yeah, but they, TLC wanted you to think he didn't know. They're all under seven. <laughs> Does Colty want kids? It's, um, go look at the first work at home job stuff that I gave. Try Ape and Butler Hill, Jigsaw Puzzler. I'm making you want chocolate covered almonds. And you just brush your teeth. Oh, looks like you'll be brushing them again later. So, does Colty want kids? Buffering. I don't think we're buffering. It doesn't say we're buffering. Okay. No, you didn't lose me. I'm right here. Rare movies and TV lover. I'm right. I'm, I'm sitting right in front of you. You didn't lose me. Refresh it. I'm right here. You had a little buffer. Okay. A little buffer. Let me just go through this, and then I'm going to go to the, the, the ice cream cake and then Linda's psychopath thing, okay, that we I promised, okay? But wait, I just have to know about one. Let me just see if I got all the couples. I didn't, right? We got Colty. Um, oh, Chantel. What is happening? Did he cheat on her, or he just had the lap dance, which is in my book is cheating? Gail, did you change your name to Sincerely and and how do you say that? Anlaya, Anlaya. I don't even know how you pronounce that second name. The show sounds crazy. It, it is ninety day fiance, um, happily ever after. Oh, did we? Oh, I know who the one I want to smack. That's who I'm looking for. Her, I heard her Moroccan trip got canceled, right? He had a family emergency. 
family freaking emergency, right? He, he, he didn't want to, no, no time didn't ask about the time. It was the other one, Casbot. I think it was the one that changed your name. But um, Pedro had a sexy lap dance. I, I don't even know why the, the Chantel is putting up with that crap. But good night, Jess. It's not, I'm not buffering. That's cheating. It is cheating. Okay, so family emergency, family, the emergency was he didn't want to be alone and in the same hotel room with Nicole. So, and she was good, you know, mm, mom, he's got a family emergency. And then mom, the enabler says, really? Oh, you know, are you going to reschedule? She told me she was like that. The only one that tells the truth is the brother and the stepfather. You don't watch the show? Okay. You got to go to bed? Okay, sincerely. Take it easy. All right, I, you guys aren't filling me in too much on. What, what's the deal on her? She, she dyed her hair purple, I saw. You don't watch? Okay, I'm going to get your um, ice cream cake then. You guys should tune into that. It's a train, train wreck on wheels. Hi, mommy. Just stopping in. It, I started watching it only about a year ago, and it's you just I I don't even know how my son I think made me go in, and then it was like you couldn't look away. Ninety day fiance. Um, this one is happily ever after, but they've got like nineteen different shows. Okay. Hang on. I'm gonna go look at the ice cream cake, and then I'm gonna look at Linda's thing. Trudy, yes, I still show photos and I don't know if you want me to, I, is this something, let me see. Oh, the polymer clay buttons. Okay. Um, you would call in, but your vocal cords. Okay. All right, Trudy, I'll, I'll read this later because this is a lot here. And I, I think, I don't know if you want me to share this or not. So I will check it out but I hope that you're feeling better. Okay, now let me see here. Okay, now Jigsaw Puzzler, okay. Okay, Jigsaw Puzzler made an ice cream cake. So we're gonna see that and there's also, here's some photos of the ice cream cake I made with your recipe. The frosting was a bit runny because it was so hot, but everyone liked it. Thanks for the recipe and the encouragement. Love, Jigsaw Puzzler. Okay.
Um, Jigsaw Puzzler, what, what is you? Do you want to tell us what this photo is about? Is this your friend, or is you and your friend? You, I'm not sure. What's going on here? There's no um, caption. Is that you and your dog? You look like you're somewhere hot. It doesn't look like. I thought it doesn't look, it looks like Arizona or something with the gravel. Okay, you're getting ready. Chocolate, did you, you did chocolate and vanilla? Good job. Good job. It's a little runny because it's um, so hot there. Yeah, I can see that, but I'm sure it tasted good. Very nice. Did you, you didn't let us see the inside though, right? Mm. Okay, next time take a picture of the inside because we like to see the inside. We're very nosy like that, but good job. And now Linda wants me to Oh, okay, I got you on that, Jess. I'll check that out. All right, now Linda wanted me to read this. How to get, this is very good for especially anybody that's dating right now because this is really good advice. Oh, let me get rid of the picture so Cowgirl can hear this too in case she is dating. Okay, so this is really good information sent in by Linda in case anyone's dating right now. This is how to spot a psychopath by the speech patterns that give them away. Okay, so listen to this now so that you don't end up with a psychopath. Psychopaths are known to be wily and manipulative, but even so, they unconsciously betray themselves, according to scientists who have looked for patterns in convicted murderer's speech as they describe their crimes. The researchers interviewed 52 convicted murderers and 14 of them ranked as psychopaths according to the psychopathy checklist, psychopath, psychopathy, yeah, it just sounds weird, checklist revised 20 item assessment and asked them to describe their crimes in detail using computer programs to analyze what the men said, or oh, I think we're only doing men, so it's, it's, it's okay, we, maybe we can do some women later. I don't know. I think they're only doing men right now. Found with those who had psychopathic scores showed a lack of emotion. They spoke in terms of cause and effect when describing their crimes and focused their attention on basic needs such as food, drink, and money. While we all have conscious control over some words we use, particularly nouns and verbs, this is not the case for the majority of the words we use, including little functional words like to and the, or the tense we use for our verbs. According to Jeffrey Hancock, the lead researcher and an associate professor in communications at Cornell University, Cornell University, who discussed the work on, today in Midtown Manhattan, today is not important, Cornell, um, at the Cornell's ILR Conference Center, the beautiful thing about them is they are unconsciously produced, Hancock said. These unconscious actions can reveal the psychologic dyna psychological dynamics in a speaker's mind, even though he or she is unaware of it, Hancock said. What it means to be a psychopath. Psychopaths make up about 1% of the general population and as, many, uh, as much as 25% of male offenders in federal correctional settings, according to the researchers, psychopaths are typically profoundly selfish and they lack emotion. In lay terms, psychopaths seem to have little or no conscience. They write the researchers in a study published online in the journal Legal and Criminology Psychology. Psychopaths are also known for being cunning and manipulative, and they make for 
perilous interview subjects, according to Michael Woodworth, one of the authors and a psychologist who studies psychopathy at the University of British Columbia, Columbia, who joined the discussion by phone. And I guess he wrote, criminal minds are different from yours. It is unbelievable, Woodworth said, you can spend two or three hours and come out feeling like you are hypnotized. While there are reasons to suspect that psychopath speech patterns may have distinctive characteristics, there has been little study of it, the team writes. How words give them away. To examine the, mo the emotional content of the murderer's speech, Hancock and his colleagues looked at a number of factors, including how frequently they described their crimes using the past tense. The use of the past tense can be an indicator of psychological detachment, and the researchers found that the psychopaths used it more than the present tense when compared with the non-psychopaths. They, they also found more disfluencies, the uhs, oh, we know this with Chris, right? And the ums that interrupt speech among psychopaths, nearly universal in speech, disfluencies indicate that the speaker needs some time to think about, yes, absolutely, try time to make up some lies or to think about what my last lie was, about what they're saying. With regard to psychopaths, we think the us and ums are about putting the mask of sanity on, Hancock told Live Science. Psychopaths appear to view the world and others instrumentally as theirs for the taking. The team, which also included Stephen Porter from the University of British Columbia wrote, as they expected the psychopath's language contained more words known as sub subordinating conjunctions. These words include because and so that and associated with cause and effect statements. This pattern suggests that psychopaths were more likely to view, view the crime as logical outcome of a plan, something they, that had to be done to achieve a goal, the authors write. And finally, while most of us respond to high, higher level needs such as family, religion, or spirituality and self-esteem, psychopaths remain occupied with those needs associated with a more basic existence. Their analysis revealed that psychopaths used about twice as many words related to basic physiology needs and self-preservation, including eating, drinking, and monetary resource sources that the non-psychopaths, then non-psychopaths, they write. By comparison, the non-psychopathic murderers talked more about the spirituality and religion and family, reflecting what non-psychopathic people would think about when they just committed a murder, Hancock said. The researchers are interested in analyzing what people write on Facebook and in other social media since our unconscious mind also holds sway over what we write. By analyzing stories written by students from Cornell and the University of British Columbia and looking at how the text people generate generates uses using social media relates to scores on the self-report psychopathy scale, unlike the checklist, which is based on an extensive review of the case file and an interview, the self-report is completed by the person in question. This sort of tool could be very useful for law enforcement investigations, such as in the case of the Long Island serial killer who is being sought for the murders of at least four prostitutes and possibly others, since this killer used the online classified site Craigslist to contact victims, according to Hancock. Text analysis software could be used to conduct a first pass focusing the work for human investigators, he said. A lot of time analysts tell you that they can feel they are drinking from a fire hose. Knowing a suspect is a psychopath can affect how law enforcement conducts investigations and interrogations. So this is a little deceiving because I thought they were going to give more like more examples or role play of how somebody would recognize that on a date because a lot I think this is like a lot probably over a lot of people's heads as they have to read it and read it again and and then maybe they're still not sure so it would be good if somebody would translate that into late terms and have some role playing like if you meet this person at the bar 
and you come with one of your pickup lines, that they may say this back to you. I think that would probably be more helpful in helping people recognize a psychopath if they did that, the role play kind of stuff. That's just my personal opinion. <laughs> right, see what I mean? Yeah. You'd like to call in and maybe you do the role play for us and you'll tell us? Okay, all right. You might think of rewriting this, um, Linda. Steven, let me see if I did. Did you hear me call you out last night? Mine is mine is growing a little um, stem. So let's see what's going on with yours. And remember, Stephen, you were going to throw them out, right? I saved them from the garbage and now they're living a happy life. Wow, yours is doing very, very well. Look at that, Stephen. You've got more leaves on yours than me. Mine is just starting that stem. Wonderful. Do you have the other one or did you throw it out? I hope not. It's a long process, isn't it, Stephen? It really shows a level of commitment. It would be good for dating, right? If you were dating or someone was dating, if someone's growing an avocado seed and could show that level of commitment, you know, um, I think it says a lot. I should write an article like that. Someone you're dating is, is taking the time to grow an avocado seed. They probably have a good, you know, good chance of really making a good commitment. I don't know. Very nice job there, Stephen. You should be proud. It's a long time. Mine is just as long as his, because we started them around the same time. I told Stephen to hang on. He was ready to just, I said, hang on, Stephen, please. What happened to the other one, Stephen? The other one is not doing well? You are footloose and fancy free? Well, you know, that's a feather in your cap that you have that commitment. And I, and I would keep the other one, you know, just keep hanging on, talk to it. Give it a little encouragement. All right. If they grow the avocado, right. I, it sh it's a big level of commitment, um, Bethany. It really is. It's, a, it's, a, it's amazing. This is the one with help. You put a little bit of, would you put miracle grow in there or you put root, you put a little miracle grow in there. Music helps, yeah. And then since your foot loose and fancy free, you put the music on and start dancing around them. Oh. Hi, Linda. Yeah, hi. Um, yeah, it is filled with some jargon that might make it a little bit uh, difficult to, but let's see if we can unpack it. Um, mm -hmm. uh, scholars, and the reason I sent it was, was do you remember what did Graham say to Chris Watts when they came back for the uh, jail house interview? What would you say was the reason was it it was for? Well, they wanted to say, he said that no one had ever I said the things that Chris did and apologized right as profusely as Chris did and he was somebody they wanted to study because he was going to be you know a, a, a marker for them a Chris Watts is what he said and they're going to say oh that guy's a Chris Watts because right, right he had something that was different um, than others that they had run across and they wanted to study him right so my theory is that it wasn't that they were really probing for more information or thought that he would tell the truth this time. Mm -hmm. There, but my theory is that they were looking for his speech patterns so mm -hmm. that 
uh, others could study him, like these scholars studied these psychopaths, to see uh, how, you know, we unconsciously will use certain words they are finding. And um, so my, my, my thought is that all of those things that they found in other studies, I'm not sure that they are aware of this particular study, but you know, they, they let all of the other interrogation interviews out to the public. Mm -hmm. And a lot of that I think is the kind of thing, uh, and plus Facebook posts, that they will use to study the psychology of the person, the uh, relational ideas, and to be able to get into motivation beyond even his own awareness of motivation, because they can compare it to these other studies as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's, yeah, I just think that it's very interesting, some of the things where they talk about the vocal disfluencies to buy for time, Mm -hmm. um, to, and we knew that, of course, the like, like, like. The uh, and, um, yeah, uh, yeah, um, right. Exactly, and I think that I, I would like to go back over personally his interviews and see if these principles or patterns that they're identifying uh, bear out in his speech. And I think, you know, you could use software, like they said, to um, go through what is called a first pass and look for f phrases, um, it's called conversational analysis, and, and then pick out keywords or phrases or patterns that then they can go back in and maybe study even in a more micro level. Mm -hmm. So where, where it might apply in our own lives is uh, someone who could take this Study, and maybe someone already has. So if you're dating somebody and they use a lot of likes and ers and ums, or if they use, um, what do they say? Because, or in order to, to, to show causal mm -hmm. uh, connection, that might be clues to possible uh, psychological issues. Now, of course you can't diagnose someone, mm -hmm. but uh, I think this article was just to point out what might be some characteristics of psychotic murderers that right. they've studied over time as compared to the normal person. Right. And don't so, get scared, people. If somebody you know or in your family like uses um or uh doesn't mean they're right. a psychopath. Okay? It has yeah. to be a little we more than just that. that. In our speech. And so it's a signal also of deception and lying and Buying time, or, or just not even knowing you're, what you're going to say, and you're just, you know, filling in space. Some people feel they have to fill in space before they say something else yeah. with some type of a sound. And people are, when, when I teach students, I, we, we tell them, if you don't want your speech to seem choppy mm -hmm. and filled with all these clutter words, just stop, mm -hmm. pause, even for a few seconds. And in a situation like that, you'd have to be a really cool cucumber to force yourself to stop um, because your nerves and anxiety might get the best of you. And so you would fill it with those filler words. Right. Um, but people are scared of silence. Oh, and we shouldn't be. They're very fact, scared, especially people that are dating. Believe me, I just heard this, that if there's any silence, like they have to keep bringing something up to put in the conversation because they're very scared of that silence. Right. Silence, it doesn't mean good and things to a lot of people. It's, it means, oh, my date is bored. My date doesn't want to talk to me. My, you know, And then they start filling it up because si that's why they say an awkward silence or something. Yeah, people are scared of silence. Yeah. But you can tell if someone if couples are really comfortable together, if they can sit together in silence for long stretches of time and not feel uncomfortable. And not be giving each other the silent treatment because that's not healthy, you know, that's not healthy right. silence. No. They can it's, Some people I know, couples that can sit in long periods of silence, but it's not yeah. for a good reason, okay? They're giving mm -hmm. each other the silent right. treatment. 
And I would think likewise in an interrogation, you, he, the, he's kind of be constantly kind of looking at checking out his interviewers to see are they buying it. Um, mm -hmm. And he doesn't want silence. I'm just supposing he doesn't want silence because he doesn't want them to think he's he doesn't have anything to say. So he what it, they call holds on to his turn. He doesn't he sometimes we hold on to our conversational turn by these filler words as well, uh, rather than pausing and letting someone say, "Okay, I'm finished with that statement." And one thing that's a challenge in these kind of conversations online, we don't see each other, is that we don't have any nonverbal cues that I'm ready to give up my turn in talking and you don't give me, I can't see your eyes or your body leaning in and saying, it, I want to talk now too. So it's very fascinating the reasons why people study communication. And um, so I, I just thought as we think about who are also people that are psychopaths, in these true crime cases. Right, and it would be good if somebody would uh, make up some scenarios of what one might encounter, encounter if they were meeting someone who's a psychopath, who's a psychopath, you know what I mean? Like, go through the whole yeah. thing. You know, this person might say this kind of stuff. Does it mean every person that says that is going to be the no, but this is what we think this person would say um, if you're meeting him. Right. And it may be already done in some uh, relational communication textbooks or in some psychology. Yeah. Uh, so you Maybe. Could, and it would be good to, to, if we could have a role play where two people could, you know, we could get, we don't have many guys in here, but we, we do have a few. If they could play a part and then everybody would read the different parts. But yes, and think of all the kind of relationships there are. So you want to know that if you're getting involved in a friend-to-friend -friend relationship with another woman, if you're a woman or a, a boss. Um, right, they could be a psychopath. It doesn't just have to be a dating, right? You could have a single white female kind of thing with a roommate or something that's not good. Right. Mm -hmm. And if you add in cultural differences, um, I don't know that they those were a... Um, an aspect of the study that they teased out, you know, were these all white psych psychopathic murderers. Uh, it certainly it seems like they were all men, um, but so, and I couldn't do that on the fly tonight, but I did want to kind of frame it with my theory about why they wanted him to just talk more, talk hours and hours and hours and hours, mm -hmm. so that people that are knowledgeable about how to look for patterns could. Um, and maybe they already are doing that. Right. I'll have to and look it up. Yeah. I, I know I my daughter's had a single white female experience, and I have too. So, yeah, those type of um, people can be just as dangerous, even though you're not dating them. But definitely the well, dating. Well, and then there's, yeah, like you said, it could be you're hiring someone to do some work for you that's a psychopath. You wouldn't want that either. Even, even when you look at the nasty... Um, content creators mm. that go after other content creators sure. like the Etika. Um, mm -hmm. And you can look at, I, I, I turned to the one person that I have, uh, w that I saw that was pointed out as um, being critical of another, uh, Glenda Sully, I think I don't, mm -hmm. you know, a wonderful woman, a content creator, but, uh, and I watched her video and I'd like to see, you know, does she give markers, indicators, clues that she has some kind of mental, because she's really kind of crazy mm -hmm. acting, I think, a little bit. Oh, yeah. Um, YouTube is a good place to study behavior. Yeah. Yeah. It's a great, vast resource. Mm-hmm. Um, so. Yes, um, definitely is. Um, that, I think it, it will be useful and maybe maybe I can generate or at least find some dialogues that we might want to role play. Yeah, we'll have to see if we can get some dialogues together. Anybody else is welcome to do that too. It's not a domain that I have to corner, uh, just to putting it out there. Right, absolutely. 
So okay. anybody that no. could, could reads that article and or you know would like to put together some sample dialogue, go ahead and send it to me. Okay. Well, okay. good night. Good morning. Oh, yep. Thanks. Yeah. It's on, wow. It's almost four a.m. Crazy. Yep. It is. <laughs> bye bye. Okay. Bye. Normally, psychopaths have flat speech patterns. That's indicative of being on that spectrum. Mm hmm So many types of people in the world. Sure are. You can be a bit robotone, right? Doesn't have to. Yeah, it doesn't have to mean. There's always exceptions, right? And happy scrubbing. What, what are you scrubbing, Diana? You're cleaning up like crazy. The single white female. Um, my daughter had this one. Well, she. It was a long time relationship. I met her on a. I, um, I'm trying to change a little bit of the situation. So, um, okay, that she was on doing some campaign work. Okay, and between graduating college and going to graduate school. And she met this girl through that. And she was saying, oh, how lovely this girl was. This girl is so lovely. She, we're going to, when I go to graduate school, and then we're going to get in an apartment together because she's going to move up this way. I said, really? Because she was already in an apartment with, um, at, at the college at the, where she was going for her graduate studies. Oh, yes. Now, I could see it before my daughter. I said, I don't know if you... Oh, she's so nice. And when we had the campaign, she did this and she did that. Not really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really nice. Yeah, really nice. Okay, I'm just not seeing it. Yeah. Then she was sending my daughter shortbread cookies. Okay? Sending them to her constantly. And I'm like, why is she sending you these shortbread cookies constantly? Now, um... At the time, okay, and the girl was heavier, okay, and my daughter was in very good shape. She does a lot of yoga, but she was sending her these shortbread cookies all the time coming through. So I'm just thinking Mean Girls, the movie, right? Put a little weight gain powder in these, you know, I, okay? So I'm just like, I don't know. Why is she just sending you like these really buttery shortbread cookies all the time it's not like just one time here you go so my daughter's like I don't know I, but yeah I don't know and then my daughter had a boyfriend at the time and anytime anything she'd go you don't need a boyfriend I don't even why do you even want a boyfriend D that kind of stuff okay this is before they even finally when she moves up to New York before they embarked on this thing I don't know my daughter must have seen the light somewhere this girl became, you know, it was like an obsession. Didn't want the boyfriend, didn't want that, had the shortbread cookies. Um, yeah, it's just like a lot of things going on, uh, a lot of dynamics. And so, yeah, they actually, I, I think there was one then major thing that happened and just she, my daughter cut it off completely because she didn't want her to be friends with anyone. She didn't want her to have a boyfriend. She didn't want her, you know, it was crazy so yeah it happens it happens people it could be Hennessy I or just could be that she didn't have a boyfriend and she didn't want you know just anyone else to but uh, yeah and my daughter's like and see my daughter and my daughter will call me out of the blue and she go you wouldn't believe what I, you know, I found out. And she'll tell me everything that I've been telling her for months. And, and she'll act like it's the newest thing that she just discovered. And I'm like, I've been telling you that for months, that something's wrong. Don't move in with this girl. It's not going to be good. She eventually, like, admits some right and listens, but it's always after many, many months, sometimes a year. Yep, Bethany, yeah, so be careful. Some girls are really mean.
anyway. Is it, um, they, they take a while. My daughter, she'll, she'll eventually, the best thing is like when I send her something and she'll go, that's not the case, I'm telling you. And then like three months later, she tells me, you know, mom, Ayla saw what you sent me on that text and she said your mom was spot on in calling that one. That's another situation. But I was spot on. So if her friend validates me, then then I'm good. And I'm like, I only told you that three months ago and you said I was crazy when I said it. Oh yeah, but now I see you were right. But my daughter takes a long time to see I'm right. Moving with the military, you meet the oddest people at times. They are scary. You're not at home in the country of your own and not always in alliance with you. Well, yeah, that can happen with the military without. I think the guy you mentioned would be fine because he's not part of the whole creator thing that's going on. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, you're talking alley cattails. Okay, mommy knows best, yeah but they don't always listen. It's very similar to that to my daughter's, just where someone tries to infiltrate your, themselves into your life, tries to cut you off from anyone else, but behind your back is doing, you know, things to undermine, you know, like just, just things that they're not really your friend and they don't have your best interest in mind at all and they want to alienate you from everyone. That seems like, you know, what that the single white females, what they're doing. And that, uh, the only reason I'm saying single white, could be, they could be any color, they could even be, you know, doesn't matter. I'm just, that's a reference to that movie. That was such a good example. Who's Rose? How come I don't say Rose? Am I missing something? Who's Rose? Everybody's saying sorry, Rose. I don't see sorry. I don't see a Rose. Bethany, do you see a Rose in here? I don't see a rose. If you see someone standing on a table, then put food. No, that's disgusting. Oh, how is that Irish rose? Oh, okay, that's it. okay. Are you, okay, I'm I've lost it, Bethany. Haven't made time to do a background check on the guy, and I'm not trying to die on the hill. Just wanted to share in case it helps anyone. What happened, Ellie Cattails? Seems like there is a difference. I'm just trying to go back here and see what's going on here because I don't get it. Potentially useful. Oh, okay. I don't know. But nobody wants a six pack of Dr. Pepper that much. A 
of statement? I don't, I don't know. You fell sound asleep for a while there? Yeah, you, you were up late. Uh, you went to bed late. J Bells. Hey, purple butterfly. How are you? You sent the inside of the ice cream cake? Okay, let me check. Oh, so you used all chocolate. I thought you said chocolate and vanilla, so you used the entire, all chocolate, huh? And did you use the, I see cookie crumbs, but it's hard to see in the chocolate without the definition of the vanilla, right? But you like, if you're a chocolate lover, I guess you like it, right? It looks like it was it was liked by the pictures. Lots of that's very chocolatey, right? Lots of chocolate. Okay, and somebody else sent something. Hang on, about an idea for a shirt, which I'm really having difficulty with. Okay. I've attached a t-shirt design that I thought might be a cute idea for merchandise. Michelle Merrick in chat sent this. <laughs> Very cute. That's a, that's a definitely one that Save Robbie should wear, though he never did that. No, it should be mom of... Um, for girls should definitely be wearing that and and the and the woman in Florida that did it speaking of which I'm wondering where she I've got to check in with her so many people I have to check in with okay now Sakura Girl says that numerous roads are flooded as severe thunderstorm hits Calgary. Oh, sorry to hear that. I hope everyone's okay. Oh, Amy's Justice League. We have some more vacation pictures. Oh, there's snow. Is there snow over there? Yeah. Today I had a near-death experience. Oh my goodness, that does not sound good on vacation. Absolutely not. Y'all would have heard about it on the news, oh, but not put it together till someone said, what happened to Amy's Justice League? Fortunately, we survived. We rented a dune buggy and headed up to 12,855 feet to the Continental Divide. Pictures are attached. At times, there was a lot of yelling and cussing and yours truly screaming, we're going to die. Or it sounds like me. I would be screaming, we're going to die. I do stuff like that all the time. People get upset. Of course we didn't. And no pictures were taken during the trauma. No, because you're hanging on too tight to something. You're not taking pictures because you think you're going to die. But believe me, it was real. We are laughing now because we are safe and back at our cabin. Okay, so here's some pictures of that near-death trip. Okay.
Is that your driver? It looks like it, right? Your husband on at the wheel? You're driving up this, okay. You're saying it doesn't look so bad. And this is after when you've when you got down there. So they just let you rent that thing and drive it, huh? Interesting. Hold on, there's one more picture. Well, we're glad you didn't die. Hmm. Were you driving on that snow? That would be scary if you were. Okay, so yeah, I'm glad you didn't die. Wow. Kind of scary, kind of scary. Hold on, I have something from Christine Davis. Okay. On the McNeil case that we talked about last night, she said, how sad for the McNeil daughters. They said they came to realize their father was never real. It had all been a lie. What an awful realization. Such strong, good girls, too. The case was another eye-opener. Chris Watts, like character. The girls are creepy. Oh, those guys are creepy. Thanks for your great channel. Good true facts. Thanks for your email, Christine. Oh, we, we have some stuff from, from Bella Mac. Hang on. These are her peonies. I haven't even, Bella, you don't even know the rain. Mine, just ridiculous. I have some pictures. It's not good. And I think, I don't know what happened to my chrysanthemum daisies. I'm really upset about it now. So it's reminding. I feel like a little bit of a trigger for me, but don't you feel bad about it? Very nice, Bella. Thank you for sending that in. And we've got another one. Here, this is something different than flowers because flowers are triggering me right now until I find out if my daisies where they are under those rocks. Okay. Um, this is from our work rooftop. It's a sunny sanctuary, St. Paul's, London. Huh. Very interesting. Thank you. St. Paul's London there. And then this is the famous London shard from rooftop at work. No filter. I took this yesterday. Both on a Samsung Galaxy Edge 6. Okay. Flowers. I wasn't ready for the flower trigger. Okay, very nice, very nice. Very interesting, nice to see. Blue sky, lots of clouds. The, the other day there were clouds and all of them looked like dogs. It was crazy. Okay, so let's see. Um, I'm going to see if there's Okay, I'm just trying to see if there's anything else but I think that's good for tonight. And let me just shut this now. Oh, because it is late. And there might be Dan Chronicles tomorrow or something. I don't know. We'll see what happens if I do. We'll see. Uh oh. Hold on a minute. I missed the chat. Okay. So, yeah, you're going to sleep. I am too. 
you're going to go look at those job sites yeah different yeah just there's so many resources in there sassy darcy apen butler hill is a great one that really they're looking for people yes definitely looking for people okay so I'm going to close out of here. Thank you to our moderators for always being you and keeping the trolls down and morale up. And thanks to you all for coming and making this a lively place to chit and chat. All right. And oh, why? No, that's Irish eyes. So I still don't know who Rose was. I'm starting to get like when people say, oh, I can't see the person they're talking to. I don't know who Bethany was talking to that was named Rose. I'm lost. All right. I thought it was Wild Irish Rose, but no, it's Irish Eyes. Okay. Anyway, everybody, Troll Free Zone, have a good time. Good night. Stay safe. No, Try not to have any near, near-death experiences like Amy's Justice League, and I can't see. And reading. Okay. Oh, look, I did that so you don't have to see a blue screen. See? Hang on. I can't... Why Why can't I shut this? Hold on. Get rid of this. And here, I'll move this over. See? No more blue screen. I got rid of it. No more. You're not going to see that blue screen. I hope not. Okay. All right. Have, have a good night.